under constant assault. So we might have some lessons to learn, for those of us who still have the pretension of being in the public domain and still deal with the realm of intellect and ideas. So Rami. I thought the flowers go at the end, but they can, they can first. That's nice. Anyway, uh, uh, thank you very much, Ashok, uh, Ashok Vajpayee, uh, a great friend of mine with whom I'm doing a book also. And um, I want to uh, thank also uh, the Raza Foundation. Um, it's an honor to be here. I, uh, I grew up in France, I grew up in Paris, and Raza lived in France, in Paris. Uh, we never met, uh, despite the fact that you knew I knew a lot of artists and intellectuals, but uh, I mean, this is a lack in my own uh, private history, I think. Uh, so tonight I wanted to talk about um, um, the role of intellectuals in the age of Trump. Uh, that might appear to you as a contradiction because on the one hand, is a person who very recently said that he wanted to pass an IQ test uh, being President Trump, and he was uh, declared as a moron by one of his collaborators. And the other hand, we're talking about intellectuals. So, uh, but I think that's uh, the reason why I chose this title, the role of intellectual in an age which is, I think, even worse than the medieval times, because uh, I don't think that uh, St. Augustine or uh, St. Thomas Aquinas or uh, uh, other philosophers in the medi medieval times and late medieval times uh, uh, had to deal with uh, uh, a person who's always, uh, every day that you open a TV or radio is present there. Uh, anyway, um, uh, this, this is a text that uh, I've written and uh, I hope that it's gonna be quite challenging to you so if you have the courage, uh, stay until the end and come with your spicy questions because that's what philosophy is all about. And uh, otherwise, uh, it's not worth uh, lecturing like as usual, we do it uh, in different institutions and people after that leave without any questions. So questioning is very important. Now, uh, when uh, Thomas Mann, uh, you know, the German uh, writer, he left Europe in 1938 to escape the Nazi terror and to settle in the United States, he responded to a journalist upon his arrival in New York by saying, this is a very famous word in word by uh, Thomas Mann. I read it first in German and then I translate in uh, English. Wo ich bin, die ist deutsche Kultur. Where, wherever I am, there is German culture. Today, if any of us here present situate oneself in Thomas Mann's footsteps, I mean to have a sense of humanism and critical responsibility, he or she has earned the right to say, wherever I am, there is human culture and a struggle for human dignity. But unfortunately, at the age of political demagogy, and Trumpization of politics. This is what I created, Trumpization of politics. Things seem to be quite different from the time of Thomas Mann. The 21st century represents, in general, a separation between intellectuals and the public space. Seldom have intellectuals and the political world diverged so much. However, there is an ongoing debate within the intellectual arena on the model which can describe in the best way the role and identity of intellectuals in the public sphere. As such, intellectuals are, not, are no more described as superheroes of the mind, but simply as critical idealists who look beyond the scope of our everyday life. Today, critical intellectuals are an endangered species. Today's intellectuals have a fear of the political, and it seems as if the political has also a terrible indifference to what could be called intellectual, including India, 